I realized that Edic wanted to kill the children. I couldn't help myself. Edic. There's no one here. And he wouldn't have done anything to them. And you? Idiot. Ruined everything. Of course, you idiot. I believe that you wanted to save my daughter. And you took her to no one knows where. I haven't known where she is or what's wrong with her for two weeks, she is no longer alive. So what should I be afraid of? That you're going to kill me? So what's the point of me living? Hello, Dad, is that you? Svetochka, daughter, no tricks. Svetochka, baby, where are you? You sent me to the clinic yourself, Dad. Are you all right? Where have you disappeared to? Yes, 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 everything is fine. How are you? Have you started this treatment? Yes, we conducted the first course of chemistry. Some kind of new generation drug. At first it was very bad, but now it's much better. I have almost no pain and the tests are not bad. I miss you, Dad. Why aren't you coming? There's no money left at all. The doctor said if you interrupt the treatment now, the deterioration will come immediately. There will be nothing to help her. So, are you going to save your daughter? Or are you only worried about other people's children? I'll do whatever you say. Only I will not kidnap children, Katia and Dima anymore. No one will let you near them anyway. All right. You'd better tell us what's going on with their mother and the wheeler. I clean the house every morning. I start with the bathroom, then the kitchen. I came, and there he was. Please wait there. I talked to my former boss, Gushchik. Your family will be provided with protection. Why X? Because. I was transferred to another unit. One division, another division. Some kind of mess in general. So, I'm taking my family abroad. It's safer that way. Boria, where are we going to live there? Do you even understand what kind of housing we will have to rent? There are five of us. We'll find something. I think this is not the best option. You won't be safe abroad. But you will be here. So, I myself know how to protect my family. Have a nice day. For now. Bye, guys. Yes. Hi there. Marinik is dead. In what way? He was under house arrest. Drowned in the bathroom. Did you come to him in the evening or at night? Are you crazy? I asked a question. I was with my fiance Anya all evening and all night. Where are you now? At his place? Give me 40 minutes, I'll be there. Come on, I'm still here. Did something happen? How do they feel? Not really. Nightmares torment her. Sleeps badly. Post-traumatic syndrome. Could you work with her, Aliona Vladimirovna? Yes, of course. Thank you. I already thought he would never leave. Will stay with us to live. Like your daddy. Yes, yes. Oh, good afternoon. Hello, Anatoly Maximovich. Vika. Glad to see you, well? Likewise. How are you? What's new? And yesterday, I met my ex with a new girlfriend. <laughs> I see it didn't catch you in any way. Absolutely. Yes. It's like a stranger to me. I just said hello and walked by. Great. Therapy brings results, right? Mm -mm. This is not therapy. It's you, Anatoly Maximovich. <laughs> I no longer feel pain after Semyon's betrayal, because compared to you, this is a pathetic and insignificant person. 
I love you. What? I love you. Uh. <laughs> oh, Victoria. Yes. It's not love. Believe me. Um. This is a manifestation of transference or transfer. Um. A lot of clients try to transfer their past feelings, whether negative or positive, to the therapist. This is a common, normal practice. We will survive this further. No. This is not a transfer. This is love. It's you. I love you, not someone from the past. You are the most amazing, you are the kindest, most intelligent person in my whole life. Don't I attract you at all? Absolutely. You are a young and beautiful woman. You'll be fine. Why is this tone stupid now? That's why this fake. I just asked, can I answer yes or no? <laughs> You've never lied to me before. I'm not lying right now. No. I don't understand. Semyon doesn't need me. Don't you need me? Don't anyone need me at all? Victoria. Vika. Victoria. What happened? Raised a new layer of emotions. Pretty strong. Well, you seem to have just started the session. It happens. Iraka, don't worry. There are no signs of entry into the house. The guard said that he let him go somewhere around 6 o'clock in the evening. This is the one who first switched off, allegedly the night of the attack on Gleb Nechev. And then he also pierced, who formatted the hard drive of the stone record. No, it's new. He fired that one, and let this one go. In general, the cameras in the apartment were turned off at 1815. Did you drugs win everything last time on vacation? Yes. So he was waiting for his dealer. That's why the camera disabled it. All this is one neck watering can of a safeness. And Marinchek was killed so that he would not hand over witnesses to the murder of Nechev. Or committed suicide. Not. Such scum just doesn't go away in life. We need to look for traces of the killer. What happened? No. Nothing. Great. Mash. Mash, where are you going? It's none of your business. Is that your new boyfriend or something? So he's old enough to be your father, Mash. But he has brains, unlike some. Sorry, this is a performance for my ex. Well, that's what I figured. How are you? Have you heard anything about your brother and sister? Found. Oh, that's great. And where won't we be? At some bandits outside the city. By the way, about Grandpa, you were wrong. He's not a pedophile. The poor old man helped them escape. Because his sick daughter is being held hostage. I'm so glad it turned out this way, and that the brother and sister are safe. I'm so glad. Well, maybe you'll jump on this occasion after all. Come on. Of course, it's useless to make excuses. If Borea hadn't called that the kids were back, I would have been bugging you. They put you in jail. Hell. There's no point even apologizing, because traitors don't forgive. I just had no other choice. It's okay. You were saving your children. I hope you didn't throw the note away. 
this airplane. Sorry, there was a sign on the wall. I was afraid that the kidnappers might sacrifice the children. You did everything right. Just let me know next time. If you had told us earlier, we would have thought of something and detained the kidnapper. I'll go with the guys to the factory. Maybe we won't go. You're afraid. This is normal. Don't look into the water, look in front of you. Feel your heart beating, the blood flowing through your veins, how tense your muscles are. This is not a jump into the water, this is a step into a new life. Take a look. The whole world is in front of you, he's waiting for you. Bright, new, bold. Are you ready? Fly. How's that? Very cool. Well done. I want to do it again. No, that's enough for today. What are we going to do? I'll take you home now, and in the evening I'll show you a great place. Well, if you don't mind, of course. Well, of course I don't mind. Come on. I don't know, maybe you will study with me after all. You say she only trusts you. Don't drift, you can do it. Hello. Okay, I'll try. And the day after tomorrow we are cheese, we invite you to visit. It's her birthday. Yes, I would love to just come back. So, come together. Or are you going to hide from him all your life in order to visit our house? Hmm? Listen, let him come and see that I have a happy family, and we are just colleagues, and he has no reasons for jealousy. Yes. Yes, you're right. That's good. See you tomorrow. Did you find something? At the factory, of course, nothing. Only the signs on the glass, on the wall, and then painted. Well, here we are sitting with Max, with Vanya at my place, racking our brains, where is this Sergei with the bandits who kidnapped your children? By the way, the guys are really waiting for you. They say they can't be creative without you. So, after all that has happened, do you still want to see me? You don't understand anything. Come on, we're all waiting for you. I'll be right there. Pasha, go have lunch. I've already told you that I don't want to eat. You'll get gastritis. Dad, are we going for a walk today? Of course, Bunny, let's go for a walk. Just finish eating first. I can't take it anymore. You've given me too much. Too much. Are we going for a walk already? No, stay at home with Masha. What do you mean? Actually, I have a date tonight. No dates. Prepare for exams. I'm already prepared. Where are you going anyway? Then do your homework with the kids. Dad. Write more to Marina Klimchuk and Gennady. 
Do you think Gennady has something to do with this? Well, first of all, we still don't know who stole, then planted the dog's corpse on you, Marina. And secondly, how did the kidnappers know that Gennady almost killed you at the factory? It wasn't in the press. Convinced. Thank you. Come on. His wife understands ancient symbols and because of this we write him down as a suspect. Just because of that. Those who kidnapped Sergei knew that many years ago you got lost in the forest, that your father was missing. The question is, how did you know? You don't think that. Did you tell Kozlovsky about this? Yes. No, it's nonsense. Anatoly Maximovich is a great scientist, a wonderful person. He can't be involved in all this. Anya, probably. What, asshole, are you sleeping with my wife? Bor, are you crazy? Why aren't you at work? Don't yell at me. I haven't started yet. What the hell are you doing here? We're trying to figure out who's following us, who's been abducting children. What will I find? And what? The police already have no brains. Okay, stop it. Let's go home. I want to understand you. What's going on here? Come on, I think I'll explain everything. I'm sorry, please. Maybe I don't understand something, but how does she live with him? It's none of our business. Pasha, do you remember that we have a tour with you already this Monday? How? Already this Monday? Yes. And what kind of tour? Lecture hall. All over the country. For how long? Two months. Wow. What about me? And come with us. Pasha, he's in his senior year. So what? No, I understand that you are used to living within limits. Well, girl, what do you have to do with it? So, are you going? Well, I'm dropping out of school, to be honest, I'm not ready yet. Oh, I see. Zoya number two. And I just wanted to have a cool ritual with you, but apparently you're not ready yet. What kind of ritual? But the same one. Installation. We'll come, will you spend it? Or maybe we won't wait two months. Let's do it now. I'm absolutely ready. Are you serious, or what? Well, look. You signed up for it yourself. Well, we cancel classes and go to the forest. Yes, you understand. Aliona was lured to this factory where Gennady Klimchuk tried to kill her, and Marina Klimchuk's dead dog was thrown to her. The dog's corpse was stolen from the morgue. I talked to the pathologist. It is obvious that Gennady Klimchuk is not acting alone. He has accomplices. Yes, I'll talk to him. You're an idiot, Miller. I couldn't crack it myself. Let me try. It's just that no one will crack it anymore. Why? His cellmate staged a fight in the pre-trial detention center. They broke his skull. Sunday there is no more conk. Did you send him to the criminals? What was I supposed to do? Should I give him the presidential suite? Oh. Wow. So, but a person has to dig his own grave. Ideally, right? Well, it's just that we constantly conduct this training here. Well, don't really bury this pit every time. Well, yes. Well, that's it. It makes sense. Have you changed your mind? No. Well, then come down. Come on, cool. Yeah. Well, that's it. Sit in silence. Think about your life. Imagine saying goodbye to her. In fact, it can come out at any time. Do you want to go up? No, I can even lie down. Come on, lie down.
Listen, Pash. It's cold in here. I won't die while I'm lying underground. You'd better ask how you're going to breathe there. How? <laughs> Victoria. <laughs> what are you doing here? Anatoly Maximovich. I can't live without you. <laughs> Look. I can't do therapy sessions today. Come and see me tonight. No. I'm not going. Why? Does that make any sense? If you don't need me, then no one needs me, not even myself. I decided to end it. What? I'm asking you. I have a session right now, I can't cancel it. Wait for me. We will go to the clinic in the evening and pick up the drugs you need. Listen up. All right. Only you didn't understand anything, Anatoly Maximovich. Love is not treated. Are you all right? Huh? What happened? Uh, no. It's okay. You look worried. No, no. Yeah. It's okay. Don't you press. That's it. Give me your hands. That's it. Well done. Yeah. Is it breathing here? Breathing. Well, that's it. Let's go down then. Lie down. Oops. Son. Hold it. Thank you. So much has become clear. You will succeed. See you tomorrow, then. See you tomorrow. Excuse me. Did something happen after all? My client fell in love with me. <laughs> yes, it's wonderful. Which I've been working with for a couple of months. He says to commit suicide. That's it. Did she come here today? Yes. She's nowhere to be found. Neither at home nor at work. I need help. I thought maybe I could ask your Oleg. All right. Come on. We'll manage further. Go, mud in the car. Hi there. So what? Are we going to meet secretly now? What's there on Kozlovsky? Here are the coordinates of the client who fell in love with him and is now threatening suicide. While there is something wrong, he is an experienced psychotherapist. Did he not see the client's infatuation and her suicidal to help? The human psyche is a dark forest, and you can always unexpectedly find some monsters in it. They tried to drive your client to suicide. Now Kaznovsky has the same theme. I don't think it's a coincidence. The harassment of Marina Klimchuk was organized professionally, with a good knowledge of psychology. So or? And what if it was Kozlovsky who directed? Did you come up with some new game and now they're trying to drag you in? You remind me of Boris now. I once studied at uni, he also suspected that we were lovers. Absolutely groundless. I remind you, Boris. 
rather quieter. Are you saying he's crazy? That's what you said. I've seen enough of them. First the scenes of jealousy, then the beatings. Children can get it. And you, like most women, will be reminded when it's too late. I won't let anyone offend the children, and don't you dare reproach me for being a bad mother. I'm not. Okay, that's it, let's go. Me. Let me punch it. Thank you. I'll manage on my own. Hi, Van. I need to find a woman. There is a phone number. Will you help? Listen, I'm going to finish my projects right now. Thank you. So you don't need me anymore? No. Thank you. How bright. Where's Zoya? Frozen. I went to get warm in the car. Well, tell me, what did you feel? At first it was very scary. The ground was pressing hard, and I couldn't even move. And then I remembered that you told me that you need to relax. Feel like a part of the earth. Feel your connection with the world. And at some point I did it. And the fear, it just disappeared. I don't know, he's gone. I am this, merged with the darkness, and so I disappeared and became huge, like the cosmos at the same time. You're so cool. <laughs> Seriously? None of my students have ever risen to this level. And you know how many of them I buried, 20 people. You've experienced the same thing I've experienced. We come out with you, as if of the same blood. I would even say kindred spirits. <laughs> Yolchik. I'm sorry I'm late. Oh, the chief delayed, I was late. Complete bastard. Which one is it? This one or this one? Wait a little longer. Now another chef will come. <laughs> Have you been mocking us? I've been messing with everyone. Well, girls. What are you doing? I didn't even think about it. I love you all, each in its own way. <sighs> Lizenka. Every week means. Lisa, you said yourself, monogamy is the last century. <clears throat> Unfortunately, there is no news yet. I called her, the phone doesn't answer. I'll try to dial the guy who promised to find her. Who is this? A colleague. As soon as I find out something, I'll dial you. All right, thank you. Goodbye. Bort, what are you doing? Kaznovsky. Kaznovsky again? I teach at the university. Him too. Naturally, we communicate. I thought he retired a long time ago. Why didn't you open it? Because I knew that you would make a scandal out of the blue again. Out of the blue? On a level, yes. He loves his wife. And I have a great relationship with her. And by the way, we're invited to her birthday party tomorrow night. I'm not going. And you too. Seriously? Seriously. I wonder how you're going to stop me. Very simple. Lie. The little ones are sleeping. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, 
Do you want some coffee? Is there anything you want to tell me? What? No, nothing. <laughs> I'm sorry. My fault. <laughs> I'm sorry, really. I'm sorry. Happy birthday, my love. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Van, can you eat? Well, let me make you some coffee. I don't want to. Listen. Well, it's good to sour already. Well, you'll find yourself other girlfriends, but I also have problems. Yes, I don't need others. I need Lisa. Lisa? Who gave you a black eye? I will find out who hacked my messengers. I sent all the info, girl. <clears throat> Hello. Max, hi, do you know where Vanya is? I really need him. <clears throat> I know where Vanya is. He's depressed, all his girlfriends have abandoned him. Damn it. Must punch one person. And he's completely out. It looks like the Satanists did their best, which we catch. They hacked his mail and sent out dirt to everyone to disable him. Listen, maybe you can work with him somehow, huh? So to speak, will you bring him to his senses? I can, but not today. I have everything scheduled today. Tomorrow is a must. What are you doing here? We need to talk. I'm sorry about yesterday. I had no right to say that about your husband. In general, get into your life. But the problem is, your life is mine now, too. Are you talking about all the darkness that was happening around us, about the investigation? Yes, about what investigation? I think about you every day. I understand that I am a stranger. That I should stay away from you, from your family, but... You're not a stranger. Well, then go away. Well, Boris to me. Masha can't stand you. For kids. You're just a cool uncle. Is dad a dad? I'm sorry. We can't be together. And meet like this. I can't do it secretly either. To pretend, to deceive. I can't. And what to do? Let's try to keep our distance. Well, in order not to injure each other once again. Like this? That's so normal, right? Hi, there. What happened? I'm calling you. Your phone is unavailable. I sewed it somewhere. Maybe forests? Let's move out and look for it. I was watching the clearing before we left. There was definitely no phone. Give it to you. Let me buy a new phone and restore the number. Did something else happen? Parents got it. They fight every day. At least leave the house again. Because of what? Well, he thinks she's cheating on him. She denies everything, gets angry. Moss Hun, well, you can come back to our apartment at any time. Well, so you just run away from the problem. From what problem? Well, I do not know how close your father is to you, but mom is an important person to you. Try to just talk to him. Frankly, where is she now? Let's go to her. It's really hard for me with him. It's been a long time. He tormented me with jealousy when you were very young. 
but I will try to persuade him to family therapy. I should have done it a long time ago, but somehow I didn't dare. And it's hard for you with him. I can see it. And I see that you want to leave. To Oleg. I have nothing with Oleg. And it can't be. I believed you, and you stole Oleg from me. Come on, calm down. What happened? What is it? A psychotherapy session. It was a farewell. More like foreplay. Masha. Do you recognize it? Any of them? No. Did they do something? Most likely. One of them drugged me the last time we got married and had dinner here. You offend, Oleg. So that an outsider can get into the kitchen in my establishment? That's out of the question. Yes, look at it, everything is in the palm of your hand. Moreover, you yourself have seen the recordings from the cameras. All right. Max, what the hell is depression? Tell Vanya that I need him urgently. Yes, you, too, by the way. We need to wire the owner of the grill bar. Yes, yes, it looks like he knows either Edic or Victor. I'll call you back later. And Aliona, hi. Hi there. Have you seen Masha for a long time? A couple of hours ago. She came to my office, we had a fight. And she left. And what? No, nothing. I have an idea, I'll tell you when I meet you. Where are you going? I'm asking, where are you going? To friends. And you live here with your scandals, swearing. What? You're not going anywhere. What did I say? Masha. Masha, are you there? Wait. I'm here now. It's good that you came. Excuse me.
Happy birthday to you. Thank you, God, Alianushka. Beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful roses. Goodbye, Anatoly Maximovich. I'll take this sleeping pill and fall asleep thinking about you. Are you home? No, at the hotel. Which hotel? Amaranth. The same cage. Yes. She decided to commit suicide. Got drunk on sleeping pills. Do you know where the Amaranth is? I know. Maria Kravchik died there. I think it's a setup. Because it's a simple coincidence. I have to go there anyway. Suddenly he really dies. I'm asking you to lie to Ira. I'll come with you. Where are you going? And Irina Alexandrovna will go to my house. I'm in trouble. We'll be back soon. I'm sorry. Iraka, I'll explain everything to you. All right? Don't worry. I'll be back soon. I'm sorry. Hi there. Where are you? I'm at the Kosnovskys. I told you I was going to Inna Alexandrovna's birthday party. I just left them. I didn't find it with you. Aren't you at home? What about the kids? Maybe Masha is with them? Dima, are you alright? No, we're alone. Dad left and Masha left too, and someone rings the doorbell. Dima, lock yourself in the nursery and don't open it to anyone. Do you hear me? Come where? I can handle it myself. Come here. Dim, don't worry, I'll be right there. I'll dial Oleg, he'll come. And you wait in the lobby. You're not going up to the room, Victoria. Let's go. Excuse me. Victoria. Vika. Victoria, Victoria, Vika, Vika, Victoria, Vika. I didn't understand. Who are you? 